Hi everybody, uh, my name is Diane Hoffman. I am an independent paparazzi jewelry consultant and I'm here today to share with you ways to sell your jewelry. So, first thing I wanna say is um, go live, okay? So, it was very difficult for me at first to go live. I am a shy person and I really struggled. The first thing I did actually was make a video um, and then uh, the next time I went live and once you do it, you will, um, it'll, it gets easier and easier. Um, by maybe the third time I felt really comfortable. Um, and nobody could even tell I was nervous is what I, what I was told. Um, so go live. It's the, one of the best ways to sell your jewelry. Um, you won't sell your jewelry every time you'll go live. You'll go live. You'll show jewelry and you won't necessarily uh, sell it during that live, but people watch. I've had times where I've had um, hundreds of views and I didn't sell a single piece uh, during that live. However, um, people see your jewelry. It's a display of your jewelry. So later on, I'll have somebody come to me and say, hey, do you still have that red necklace you showed? Um, and they don't even remember when they saw it, but they remember it. So it's really, really important to go live, show your jewelry. Um, one of the things you wanna do is use these numbers. Okay, so when you go live, you're gonna show uh, this necklace and you say, oh, here's a copper necklace with earrings. It's only $5 for both. Um, this would be number 157 and you can see you're seeing the number backwards, but um, if I was live, you'd be seeing it the right way. Um, so you can see it this way. Um, this is number 157. If you want it, just comment the number um, or message me because I have people message me. Um, so anyway, again, I go live and sometimes I feel like it's a big waste of my time, but I have learned that it's not because I am displaying my jewelry and I have to do that. You cannot sell your jewelry if you don't display it. So I could display it in pictures um, and people could go look for the pictures and see the pictures. And I have a website, people could go to my website, but if I'm going live and, and it's appearing in their newsfeed, um, people that are really interested that really um, like jewelry, because I mean, people do watch my videos, um, they, you know, they're gonna watch. And maybe they're not, maybe they don't need a copper necklace right now, but when they do, they're gonna remember that you have one that they liked um, or earrings that they liked. Um, Obviously, everybody's not going to buy jewelry every single day, um, but when they do, they know who to go to. You're the jewelry person that keeps appearing on their Facebook every day, um, so that's who you need to be. Okay, so, and another thing is to be consistent. Um, so, if you're going to go live every Tuesday, go live every Tuesday. If you're going to go live every uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 o'clock, make sure you go live every mon Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 7 o'clock. If for some reason you can't make it, you know, let your customers know. Say, you know, I'm really sorry, can't go live tonight. Um, I have, you know, something came up. Um, and maybe do something else. Maybe post some pictures for them or tell them you will post some pictures for them um, when you can so that they can shop from there in case they were really looking forward to your live. Um, okay, so that is definitely a really important way to sell your jewelry. Also, have Facebook Live parties where you get a hostess and the hostess um, invites all their friends and you sell jewelry during a Facebook Live to your hostess and her friends. Your hostess will earn free jewelry, you will earn new customers, and you will sell jewelry. Um, it's a great way to sell jewelry. Okay, also have a business card. Um, have a business card, give your business card to everybody you possibly can, but you definitely have to have one. And on your business card, you must have a way people can find you. You want them to know that you sell paparazzi and you want to know where they can find you. Um, I have my phone number. I have my name. I have my website. I have jewelry on my website. I sell jewelry on my website. Um, and I also have my Facebook name because my Facebook name is unique. Nobody else has it. It is Diane DeBills and Hoffman. Um, so nobody else has this name. So they can always find me on Facebook. And so I made sure of that. Um, you could also make a business page that has a unique name that they can find. I do have another card that does have my business page on it. Um, that is also the way to go. Make a unique name 
business page on Facebook that they can find so they can find you that way. But you want them to be able to find you. What's the point of giving them a card if they can't find your jewelry? Okay, so um, if it's just your phone number, they're not likely to call you to buy jewelry. You want them to be able to find your jewelry somewhere online. Um, that's the best thing. So <coughs> another way is to have a website. You can sell jewelry from your website and then you have to get your website out to people so they know how to find it. You can create a link on your Facebook business page. Um, I post it on Facebook and I have it on my business card. Okay, so that is um, another thing I used to do before I had the website. My On my Facebook business page, I made albums by color. I put, um, like for instance, I had copper. So all my copper jewelry, I had pictures of all of it in the copper album. As I got new things, I added them. As I sold things, I got rid of them. I did my best to keep up with it. Um, a silver album. I had a lot of people shop from those albums. I constantly had people messaging me and saying, hey, do you, do you have this? They'd send me the screenshot of the, um, the picture. Um, so that is a great, great way to do it, um, to display your jewelry you know, all the time so people can go shop. You still have to go live because they need to remember that you're selling it. And if you're live and you pop up on their page, that's how they're gonna remember. That's one way. You can also post pictures. Um, every day, maybe post a couple of pictures. Post pictures, I constantly, when I post pictures of myself wearing jewelry, I get so many likes, it's crazy. Um, way outside of my comfort zone, but I do it because, um, well, the jewelry is really pretty. And so um, it definitely enhances <laughs> your look. And so people see that and then they want to do that too. Um, and then also, um, well, here's my mannequin. I love having the mannequin. It's a great way to display jewelry. Not 100% necessary, but definitely um, a benefit. If you can get a mannequin, get a mannequin. I got this one at a at a flea market for 30 bucks. Pretty good deal. Um, okay, so my bling bag. This is awesome. You definitely want a bling bag. It doesn't have to be this one. This is the paparazzi one. It's awesome. I get so many compliments on this bling bag. People want it for themselves um, just to carry. I don't know what they want to carry in it, but um, even people that don't sell jewelry love this bag. Um, but you can see I'm displaying jewelry. I also have my business cards in here. Um, my intention with this bling bag is not to sell the pieces that are displayed. It's to let people know that I sell jewelry. Well, and I also have jewelry inside. I, I actually, I mean, I'm happy to sell these pieces, but my main intention is to um, let people know that I don't know that I sell jewelry and give them a business card when they approach me, because a lot of people do, um, and to remind the people that I see every day uh, that I sell jewelry. Okay, so I don't want to go every day and in, into work and say, hey guys, anybody want to buy any jewelry today? I'm selling jewelry today. Um, nope, I don't want to do that everybody's going to get annoyed. However, when I carry my bling bag in, they're going to remember I sell jewelry and everybody that I see everywhere. I don't want to be walking around saying jewelry for sale, jewelry for sale, but carrying this bag um, is a great way to do it without uh, being obnoxious and annoying. Um, people love this bag. I love this bag. It's, it's great. Um, so definitely go live. These are just some of the ways. There, there's more. Um, go live, have a bling bag, um, and have a business card, and post pictures every day. Um, you have to be a constant presence and be consistent. Whatever you decide to do, be consistent. Keep doing it. Um, do it every day. Well, not every day, but you know what I mean. If you have a regular live schedule, that's the way to go. Um, the last thing I'm going to mention quickly is doing events. Um, I don't do a lot of events because they're very, very difficult to get into because there's only allowed to be one paparazzi consultant. Um, so it is not a way that I've really grown my business. Um, however, um, it is a way to do it and it's a great way of meeting new people and selling your jewelry. So you can also do events. Okay, but I'm not going to talk a lot about that because I have not, I have done a few um, but it is difficult to get spots at events uh, selling this jewelry for me, okay? And please reach out to me if I can help you at all. Um, I'm happy to help you. 
any questions and I wish you uh, success, much success in your business and um, thank you for watching.